Hey, what's up guys? Mike Red Fox. In this video, I'm going to do a little bit of myth busting on just how much wattage can the current most powerful GPU on the market, the RTX 3090, pull over its riser. So this has come up a little bit recently, and I guess just a little bit of backstory here. There's been some testing that shows that this GPU could potentially pull up to 100 watts over the full PCIe slot, which when I saw that, I was like, how is that possible? Because the specifications for the 16 by PCIe slot is that it can only pull 75 watts. And that is the spec for the motherboard full PCIe slot. It would only call for 75 watts. So like, how is this possible that it could pull more than that and then also be potentially dangerous if this GPU is slotted in a motherboard, slotted in a riser, or used in a way that's just not built to go over that full 75 watts that it is spec'd for. I'll leave links down in the description, by the way, to all of the data and references that show that that is the 100% spec of the 16 by PCIe slot. So I figured I'd do some testing here. You guys may have seen some videos that I have on the Elmore Labs PMD. If not, I'll link it up in the card over there. Uh, and it's this nice inline meter that I have on my test bench and it sits in between the power supply and the GPU and it measures the wattage that is being pulled over the PCIe cables. So the way I have this set up for this video is I have the riser on its own dedicated lane on the Elmore Labs PMD. So we're gonna be able to see exactly how much wattage is being pulled over the riser itself. I also, we can see how much the GPU is pulling in totality with the Elmore Labs PMD. And we're gonna cross-reference that with what the software is saying. And I guess my goal in this video is to see how much power, how much wattage I can actually force this case, this white Strix 3090 to pull over the full PCIe slot. I'm gonna go over 100% power limit, just max this thing out as much as possible. Hopefully cables don't burn or anything like that on me. And we're gonna see what I can come up with and see if we can bust this potential myth that this card or any 3090 can pull up to 100 watts over the full PCIe slot. So let's get started. Let's jump over to the test bench here where I've had this card mining a little bit and I'm gonna try different mining algorithms, different overclocks and a lot just to see what I can get this thing to pull. So right now, what I'm doing is just normal Ethereum mining. And for me on this card, what that means is I have the core locked at 1100 in T-Rex miner and I have the memory clock in Windows here up to 1200. That would be 2400 for you Linux users. The fan speed, I figure why not just pump the fan speed to 100% just to see if that pulls any power, and that's it. So I'm getting the results I would expect on Ethereum on this card, which is 122 mega hash for on the miner reporting 307 watts, and you can see that is really, really accurate for what is being pulled in line. You can see above me what's being pulled on the Elmore Labs PMD. The other thing I wanted to show you guys, just in case you're not familiar, is you can also take a look at this in the software. Uh, and the utility that you need to do that is called Hardware Info 64. So I have that here and I'll show you exactly where you wanna look to also see how much wattage is being pulled over all of the eight pins and the full slot on this GPU. So when you run it, you're just gonna run sensors only here. And once this loads, I'll show you exactly where you wanna go. So you can scroll down and you can go to GPU, keep going, keep going. You can see GPU, NVIDIA, GeForce, RTX 3090. And you can see what I'm looking for here is GPU power. And if I go up, you can see that the GPU power report is 307 watts, which is really dead on accurate for what the miners are reporting and really accurate plus or minus a couple watts for what is reported in line with the PMD. You can also see in here, this is the full PCIe slot. That's the 12 uh, volt PCIe slot, the 16 by right now, pulling 46 watts. So let's do this first. I'm gonna switch over the PMD to see what that reports that that PCIe slot is pulling. So we're gonna go to PCIe one, and you can see that's telling me we're pulling 4750 watts. So pretty accurate, plus or minus like four or five watts. We're pulling that much. Additionally, what you can see reported in Hardware Info 64 is all three eight pins. This is an ASUS Strix. It has three eight pins on the top of the GPU. 
And you can see the first one is pulling 111 watts. Second one is pulling about 74 watts. And the third one down here is pulling 75 watts. So what I found over time is that this is pretty accurate for what is being reported on the Elmore Labs PMD. So if this is the only tool you had is using hardware in 64, if you didn't have some type of hardware to measure wattage, you're pretty okay, plus or minus a few watts here and there. But that can also mean the difference between a burned SATA cable, don't use SATA, don't recommend it, or not. So be really, really careful if you're doing any sort of mining on these really high power cards or really any GPU at all, especially if you're looking to power that riser with anything beyond PCIe, which just please use PCIe to be safe. I have plenty of videos recommending that. So anyway, that is Ethereum. What I think I want to do now is I want to get some other algorithms testing, and I can't think of any better one than switching over to using the ProgPal based algorithms, either that's Ravencoin or Fira, because if you've mined on any of those, you know that those really put a GPU to work and they take all the power from the core and the memory. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my usual overclock set. I'm gonna launch one of those miners and we're gonna see how much extra wattage this could pull and see if we can get it pulled over that full PCIe slot. So let's do that next. Up on Ravencoin right now, you can see I'm pulling just about 400 watts I have the overclock set that I would normally be using for Ravencoin, which if we take a look here, are at 1200 on the memory, same as Ethereum, and then I boost the core clock plus 200. Power limit is at 100. So I am really putting this GPU to work, pulling 400 watts. And you can see in Hardware Info 64, it's reporting 389 watts, which is pretty accurate for what is being reported on the PMD and also accurate for what's being reported in the miner here. So. I guess the next thing we want to see, I'll switch over and we'll take a look at the riser, which is on PCIe 1 and in Hardware Info 64, it's telling me we're pulling 52 watts at the riser and on the meter, we're pulling a little bit more, 55, 56 watts over the riser, 54 watts reported there. So still pretty, pretty low considering I am taxing the heck out of this GPU, but I think there's one more thing I can do here. And if you look in MSI Afterburner, Look at that power limit slider. I got some room left. I've never went over 100% on any GPU before, but we're going all the way to whatever the max is in this video. I might burn this thing alive. This whole thing might catch on fire. I'm not really sure, but for science, let's do this thing. So let me switch this back over and we're going to take a look at what this could potentially do. So I'm going to get back to overall GPU power, which you can see report on the meter there again that 400 watts, and I'm just gonna go up 10 at a time. So we're gonna go to 110, which still gives me some room to go. 110 power limit percent on this Strix 3090. We were just at 400 watts. Let's see where we go from here. So we're already up to 440 watts on this GPU. I don't even know what the TDP is. I think it's 450. We Sounds like we might go above that. So 440 watts on this thing, it's still mining. Let's look at Hardware Info 64. The 12 volt input power, that full PCIe slot on the riser is now pulling 54, 55 watts. And if we look at the other eight pins, 140 on the number one, 113 on number two, and then number three is pulling some more now, 120. So they're all kind of like load balancing amongst each other, which is good. So 433 watts reported there. So we still have some room left to go. Let's just max this thing out and see what happens. 123% power limit. You guys ever done this? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's do that. And what kind of power are we going to pull now? So we're up to 400, 500 watts, almost 500 watts in line over PCIe for this GPU. And that is wild. I didn't know it could go that high. I don't know if you guys did. So let's see. In the miner, uh, once it gives one more refresh here, it was just saying 477 watts. I'm curious to see what it's going to say now. Over in Hardware Info 64, it's reporting 480 watts, which is wild amount of power. I'm actually getting a little nervous because I don't think I have this thing wired up to take that amount of power um, because I have the GPU 8-pin 2 and 3 is split, which I wouldn't recommend. I'm just doing it for this video to get everything going through this meter. And that is definitely 
getting close to that 288 watt limit. We're at currently 273 watts going over a single A pin that is split, which is uh, uncomfortably close to the limit on there. But for science, we're going to keep going. Let's take a look at the full PCIe slot being reported here in Hardware Info 64, 57 watts. I'm going to switch over the meter and we're going to go take a look at PCIe 1 which just is the riser. And we're being reported right now 62 watts. Let's see if that refreshes at all. 61 watts. That's it, guys. That That's the most that I can pull on this card. I have the memory maxed out. I have the core clock maxed out without the GPU crashing. I have the power limit up to 123 watts for us pulling in total 500 watts over this ASUS Strix. RTX 3090, the fans are full blast at 100. I think I got to turn this thing off soon because I'm getting honestly a little nervous. The cables still feel pretty cool to the touch, but oh, that one actually felt pretty hot. That I didn't like that. I'm gonna have to turn this off. Let me stop this miner. Um, so listen, I know you and me as miners are not going to 123% power limit, but I think what I proved here, at least with this specific card, and it's a three eight pin card. I can't imagine any other 3090 is going to be any different. Maybe I can test one of the two pins in a video coming up. But with this card, I was only able to get what 62 watts being pulled over the riser. And this is one of the, if not the highest TDP 3090s out there on the market. Do you guys have any other ideas for how I can test this to get any more power pull over that full PCIe slot? Please let me know down in the comments section below. But otherwise, I think it's just not going to happen. I'd still recommend you use six pin PCIe for anything going to a riser. It's what I do. I'll leave a link up there for my videos on that. But that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you did. Sub to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord if you want to chat. The link is down in the description. Follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter. Links are in the description. And as always, please take care of yourself take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.